I have a responsibility for e-learning at St Peter's. I'm a data lover and finally I'm a passionate science teacher. I love science. I love the smells, I love the explosions, I love the bangs and I love the mistakes. For me that is the cornerstone of teaching. I enjoy transferring my passion to my students and there's something special when you watch a student's face light up when they've done something new. It means every day is an excitement and every day is the greatest job in the world. I'm lucky enough to be on the executive for the Waikato Science Teachers Association. I've also been on the group that have run a national conference in terms of BioLive and ChemEd. I've presented at multiple symposiums to educate science teachers and I've been the organiser of physics and biology and chemistry cluster days. For any scientist, there is nothing more amazing than a well-organised spreadsheet, a beautiful graph, and I'm certainly like that. In the last year I've been working with schools around the region to create ways for them to present their data and to make better informed decisions about their data. E-learning has taken a huge change in the last few years. Without COVID, I don't think we would have had the changes that we've made and it's great to see those changes continue on even without it. Teachers share with true excitement about what they did during the day. They were excited because for the first time in a long time they were students again and experiencing the joy of trying something new. For me, science has changed from just being a classroom activity to a community-based activity. Over the years, my goal has always been to encourage the community and students to interact together, encouraging people to realise that they can make a difference in young people's lives. After all, people are science's greatest resource.